it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is a punched out Thursday to die for and I'm going to be using that beautiful flower dye you just saw right there by Sizzix. Um, I picked it up online on scrapbook.com. I will have the information about it down below if you would like to um, take a look and pick it up yourself. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso a piece of white cardstock with clear gesso because I'm going to make a slappy mess on this paper, which you will see in a minute. So I'm using some Philosophy um, uh, Prima watercolors. Um, this one is called Blush. And all I'm doing is I just want to make this a colorful page because I'm going to be using that dye to cut out some of my flowers from this. So I'm just going to kind of make lines of each of these colors that I want my flowers to be. So I'm going to go with the pink and then I'm going to come in with this yellow. This is honey. This is also an art philosophy um, watercolor by Prima. And I got these in my Hip Kit Clubs um, kits, but you can get them online. I think scrapbook.com has them. So I'm kind of just making a mess. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Because I'm just going to be cutting um, those flowers out. Now this flower um, that I have, this is Heidi Ho Blue, by the way. This one is a spray. It's a Shimmers spray. Um, the die cut that I am using today is a die that um, you'll see it looks really cool when you put it through the um, my little die cutting machine it kind of pops the flower up a little bit and it makes it look three-dimensional and it looks super super cool and it also comes with leaves as well that look the same so I also um, use the leaves too so I'm just kind of hurrying out and doing this really fast and now I'm going to go back and I'm just going to put some splatters in because once I put it through the machine, the flowers, it'll give it a little bit more interest, the flowers, um, instead of them just being, you know, just one color, they'll have a little bit of dark, um, you know, splatters on them as well. So I'm just really making a mess. <laughs> so um, this is super fun, cool way to make your own embellishments and that's what I like. So there they are. Tell me these don't look gorgeous. I love that die. So now what I'm going to do is these are um, those two sheets you just saw. I end up using the one and I fussy cut out a couple of those um, tickets that were on there. It is um, the new collection by Paige Evans, the scenic route. So this is also one of the papers from that collection as well. I'm going to start backing my photo with this beautiful blue and the yellow and the pink because those are the main colors that I'm going to be using um, on my layout. So I'm just going to see, a, you know, just little peaks of it behind my photo. And my daughter, this is a photo of us. Um, we went out on a little hike in our neighborhood and there's a lot of... Um, river there's a river by us and there's also it's not really a river I'm sorry it's a creek and um, really pretty scenery where we live here in Florida so what I did is we took them out for a little walk it was a beautiful day and um, they picked flowers and they just kind of looked at nature and it was super fun so we took a picture of her because she had a little sun hat um, and she picked some really pretty yellow flowers and they were just wildflowers, but she really loved them. And, um, she actually gave them to me, <laughs> which was super cute. So, and she had this really colorful, beautiful outfit on. And I thought, I love this. It's so summery. So I decided to scrap lift it. I mean, scrap lift, scrap it. <laughs> So now what I'm doing, I'm just distressing the edges a little bit my, with my little distress tool just to kind of give it a little more interest behind my photo. And now I'm going to come in with the flowers that I cut in my dye machine and those beautiful leaves, which you will see in a minute as well. So now I'm going to come in and this stencil is fabulous. I bought this online at scrapbook.com. 
It is by Picket Fence and it's a rainbow and it's super cool. So I'm gonna come out with my Distress Oxides and I'm going to be used, this is Picked Raspberry. And I'm just gonna go in the line, the first two lines of the rainbow. And you see, I just, I'm being very careful. And now I'm gonna come in with the yellow, which is a straw color. I can't remember the first part of it, but it is straw. And I'm going to go in that, I believe it's fossil straw. And I do the next two lines, and now the next two lines are gonna be the blue. And that blue is um, Broken China. And I'm just being very, very careful not to go into the other lines. Now watch when I lift it up gonna look super cool and there you go so now I'm gonna do the clouds so I decided to come in with tumble tumbled glass and I just do a few clouds and I'm just rubbing it through with my little tool and making it look really cool because she looked like a rainbow with her beautiful little outfit on and it was so beautiful outside that day. So I wanted a rainbow and flowers on my layout. So look how cool that looks. I love it. So now I'm going to pop up my photo with some craft foam. And then I'm going to come back in with these flowers. And I'm going to start sticking things down. So these flowers just pop right up. This dye is amazing. And I will make sure I definitely put it in my description box below because you guys got to get it. <laughs> you have to get it. I mean, it's just so pretty. So now what I'm doing is I'm just popping them up with the little piece of craft foam. These little craft foam squares that I have. And I'm just going to kind of cluster three on the top here corner and then three on the bottom corner of my photo. And um, just trying to pick those little pieces up because it just cuts them enough where they don't come completely off and they just kind of pop up and it makes it three dimensional. So you see, you could see my splatters on my flowers and that just gives them a little more interest and that's what I like. And now I'm gonna come and do the same thing on the bottom here. And before I forget while I'm doing that, don't forget to check out the other ladies. Um, I will have their links down below, so make sure you check them out too. And then I'm going to stick this one down. And then I'm going to come in with just a few little um, embellishments after I first come in with the um, leaves. Now these also are three-dimensional as well. Um, and I'm just going to stick a couple of them in here behind my flowers. The leaves just kind of pop up a little bit. And it makes it super dimensional and super pretty and I just love how this layout turned out and these leaves there's three four different kinds of leaves that they gave me and it's super cool because this all comes in one pack um, of dye and it's super um, cool that you get the leaves with the um, flowers so I'm just gonna pop some craft foam up on the back of these these are a little bit smaller craft foams I have and I'm just gonna pop it there. And now I decided to come in and I had some of my scrap paper left over that I colored with my watercolors. And I decided to use my flower punch as well. And what I did is I cut each color, I punched each color out that I had left over. So I didn't waste any of the paper, which was super cool to do too. So I made these super little flowers that I'm going to attach to these little tickets. And these little tickets each have a saying on them. And this is in um, one of the sheets from her from Paige Evans collection. And I decided to use one and just kind of put them in each set, like kind of like in spots around the flower area. So I believe I used three of them. Um, and they just talk about adventure and, um, you know, I can't remember exactly what they say. I'm so sorry. 
I've done like so many layouts in the past couple of days. I'm like getting confused on what's what. But um, I do a yellow ticket, a blue ticket, and a pink ticket. So you'll see here, I'm popping them up with some craft foam. And one says adventures. Um, I can't see the bottom one, the pink one. But um, also going to come in, and this is how I'm kind of building my flower with that little punch that I used. And I'm just going to kind of stick them on top of each one of these. And that one says wild and free, the pink one. And I believe the other one says something about um, adventures. But I also use these beautiful um, die cuts that were in the collection as well of these little butterflies. And they were the perfect colors, so I used them. And my title is going to be, I had a thicker sheet that also came in their collection. And I thought adventures await which that's what it was. It was a huge little adventure we went on around the neighborhood, um, but it was a cute adventure and the kids had a ball and they just had so much fun just looking at nature and enjoying the things in outside that are beautiful in the summertime and in the springtime. So it's just adventure awaits and um, there's a bunch of great sayings on this thicker sheet. I know you can't see it, but um, there's a bunch of different things on there. Plus, there's also um, other thickers on there, too. So now what I'm doing is, these are from the dollar store. I decided I wanted something in the middle of my flowers. So I used these little um, enamel dots. They're kind of like a um, different colored pearls. And I stuck... Um, the pink ones in the pink and the darker blue in the blue and then the yellow ones I used actual pearl um, color on those centers of those ones so now what I decided to do is I wanted some splatters so I came in with my distress oxides and I used my picked raspberry and I splattered that in a little bit near my pink flowers and I did that on the top and the bottom area, just near the flowers. And I just did a little bit, and I did dab them up with my paper towel because I didn't want it real dark. I just wanted it very subtle splatters um, around my flower clusters. And then I came in with the blue Distress Oxide as well. This was the Broken China um, that I used. And I just did a little bit of splatters there around my blue flowers and then I came in with the yellow as well and did that color and I just used a little bit of my spray bottle water and just kind of made it into a watercolor and used uh, my paintbrush and made some splatters now next you're gonna see me come in with some Nouveau drops now because those little flowers needed a center as well so I decided to use the Nouveau Drops because I can make them real small. So I used the Midnight Blue this is. This is a crystal drop. And then I also used, um, this is a jewel drop. And this one's a lemon drop, I believe it's called. And then I came in with this one, which is Party Pink. And that one is a crystal drop as well. And that's the layout, guys. So I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out super pretty, super summery, pretty layout. Um, there's the flowers up close. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love this die. And I promise you, I will put down the exact name of it so you guys can check it out. I did purchase it on scrapbook.com and I know it's available. So make sure you check it out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you. Just hit that red subscribe button. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.